we are in the Schnarb after watching this all four rounds of this tournament, and it was just a really well played start to finish by Derek Jones, big winner of MPO. Yeah, he's the champion, uh, and for good reason. That was a very good showing. Um, before we get into that, guys, we have disc golf coverage in Canada. This is huge. And it was a great first tournament. I think, I think it went really well, and it's exciting. Yeah, you can see a lot of growth from uh, round one to round four as far as the camera work, oh, the yeah. editing, uh, maybe the commentary a little bit, and uh, like a few other Definitely things. Definitely the commentary. Uh, <laughs> th- but thank you. We appreciate you guys joining us and, and watching worse. all of it. Commentary got a lot worse. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it happens. Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew did it. So we're, we've got some highlights here in the Schnarr. We're, we just want to highlight the tournament that we all just watched, kind of make some call-outs to... Um, some things that didn't happen on camera, things that did happen on camera, and overall just give a good uh, synopsis of the entire tournament. So Great what do word. we have? Great word. First of all, my notes here say I'm going to thank very much Chris Oslin, who we all saw mm-hmm. uh, on camera, uh, for all the work he put into pr- uh, to getting this tournament going. He was the TD and local player and good friend of both of ours, Adam Hussey, as the assistant tournament director. As the assistant tournament director. These guys, Julian, put on a show. Yeah, and this is only Adam Hussey's second ter- uh, time being uh, an assistant TD or a TD at all. Um, and he did a lot of really hard work to put this tournament together to organize a, a big, grand event that uh, everyone can come to. So, And he made Derek Jones win by cheating somehow because he's a lefty, as Adam is. Yeah, yeah. he, he actually uh, gave him some of his lefty juice to drink before each round. Mm-hmm. Right. Lefty juice. I'm drinking this because of Derek Jones. Um, yeah, so thanks to those. And everybody else, the spotters we talked about, um, Foxwood and Chicopee, mm-hmm. amazing. Two great courses. And guys, come and play them if you haven't had a chance yet. Now, Julian, shot of the tournament. I know Okay, we so, didn't get to see everything, but statistically, what do you think? Okay, so this one's kind of not really a fair question. Um, right. There was an ace this tournament. It was Jeff Scanlon. That's got to be the shot of the tournament. Anytime a disc goes in from the tee pad, yeah. number one um, shot of the tournament. That being said, mm-hmm. I think we could also do a subcategory of shot of the tournament caught on camera. Yes, I had... I'm glad you brought that up. It's like we talked about this before. <laughs> I, I had two things now that one pops to my mind. Yep. Uh, one, definitely Cam's shot off the barbed wire oh fence. Oh my God. A bit lucky, but <laughs> he put on a good line and it just worked out, which is great. And he uh, made the birdie putt, which is also great. And also, we just saw it. That shot from Clay, I thought, was pretty miraculous from the from on uh, seventeen. His overhand, oh. Annie put the hit the chains and almost dunked a birdie from no Off man's the side of the land. basket. Yeah, we Up. saw. There was lots of great putts, but th- definitely those two shots on camera were. They were pretty cool. Yeah, they were very good cool. ones to catch. <laughs> Speaking of great putts, Julian and I both sat down and decided what was maybe a low light or the worst thing we caught on camera. Maybe through the whole tournament, there wasn't a lot to choose from because it was so well played. Until we got to uh, hole eleven, <laughs> final round. That was hard sorry, to watch. lead card, yeah. but that was uh, that was not a great display of putting. You guys have been putting so well mm-hmm. all tournament, and then all of a sudden, hole eleven, you guys just decided, Everyone, you know what? All at once, we're all just gonna miss. I know Oslin's had uh, he had the further the uh, furthest drive yes, from the right. tee, um, and he made his par putt. All three other players on the lead card. I think, if I remember correctly, Julian, uh, Clayton uh, had maybe a 12-footer, airmailed it, and then had to make a longer putt, which he did for yep. par. Yep. And then Derek was parked for birdie and just uh, didn't put it in after Cam had already three-putt. Uh, so that was just tough. And then, But these guys, being the pros they are, Julian, um, yeah. they rebounded all of them quickly and didn't let it uh, get too far to hand. Oh, yeah, big time. So that was kind of cool to watch. Um, so we also want to call out a couple of... Uh, th- all of the winners of all the other divisions that we saw or mm-hmm. that we didn't see on camera. Good call. What happened in the tournament. So um, first off, big shout out to, um, let's see, MP40. We had Dwayne Chris Duke. Duke. By six strokes. Woof. Uh, he, he wears won. a hat that says woof. And it- he, he actually, he has local um, knowledge of everything as the course designer in part for both of these courses. I know he had a, he had oh. a part in both of them. He's he one of those behind the scene guys yeah. that you just don't hear about that does so much. He, Julian, sorry to cut you off. He maintains Chicopee more than anybody. And that is not an easy course to maintain him and Dave Coe actually. Yeah. Um, shout out to Dave. So good win for Duke by six strokes in the MP40 and cashing in. So gr- uh, no better person to win that. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, winner of FPO was Helen Morlock. Um, not a big field, but uh, at least she took the win. Yep. Um, MP50, Daryl Bankus, he won by nine strokes. Yeah, um, that's great. Uh, mm-hmm. Daryl, another person. Also, Guys, we, all know, designer of we also know Oxford. who he is. <laughs> so uh, 
he's one of those guys that could probably lay in bed thinking about each hole and each shot because he basically designed it. Uh, and he does so much for uh, disc golf in Canada, and he is in of a Canada. So congrats, Daryl, nine strokes. Thanks very much. Yeah, M won a big, big winner. I don't know if you guys saw the coverage or not, but uh, I actually didn't even play in the tournament uh, in M1, but we did have a winner. They won by nine strokes. Big yeah. spread, and it was... It was a close sure. battle. Um, Who won that one? I did. Uh, it was a good <laughs> tournament. Nine strokes. Uh, it was uh, like Derek Jones. It was start to finish. I led, which felt good with Jordan Howe at Hot my on heels. Your, yeah. All and this guy is such a good disc golfer. I didn't like that. Yeah, he was uh, winning tournaments all year long. Yeah. So yeah, I won by nine. It was fortunate. I feel like it could have gone anybody's way. It just happened to be my weekend. Yeah, and there was an eighty-stroke spread from uh, there was we the, forgot the to leader in M one to the. Um, the last place, last finisher. place finisher. Um, so big, big division. Yeah. And actually before we get an MPO division, we all saw how that turned out. There was a 54 stroke, uh, uh, spread between 18 players. So four, four rounds over two days at two difficult courses. And you're going to see these numbers leading us into the am women's Yep, Carly and green champion championette. Yep. Uh, by nine strokes, huge win. Uh, by, another big spread, 89 yeah. strokes in that division. And she, um, all of a sudden, she, I think she started playing disc golf pretty recently, but, um, she has she been cleaning late. up this year. She's been cleaning up. I believe she was one another term and I played and she's been fantastic from, I haven't seen her mm-hmm. play. Hopefully I do Carly at some point, but congrats to her. Anytime you're an Ontario champion of anything, uh, it feels good. Yeah. Big time. Trust me. Uh, am 40 winner. Let's try and pronounce this Julian. Klaus Damsbeek by three. I think he nailed it. Klaus Damsbeek. If I said your name wrong, comment on this YouTube video and let me know. Please. And let us know if you're German or not. That's my that's my guess. What do you think? Speak? Oh, yeah. Close, yeah. Maybe? Okay. <laughs> Santa Claus. Uh, and uh, the last winner of the tournament in AM50. Uh, Mike Strong, one by five. Yeah. Great show. Good job all around to all the winners of this tournament. And uh, and really, it was just a really well-run tournament. Um, lots, lots of players came out to support it. Um, and just... Uh, it was just fantastic. It was a really, really well done tournament. It was. And uh, before we let you guys go, let's speak about the growth of this channel. So we're going to try and grow this channel and grow it and grow it because we are going to be True North Disc Golf together. Um, speaking of which, we have a lot of, I think 20% of our viewers right now are European <laughs> and a good percentage are Americans as well. So this is great. We, uh, we got to showcase local players, hopefully get throughout the country more than just Ontario eventually. Uh, we've got a lot of really exciting tournaments that have been filmed and are done. Trust me, I played in them. And uh, so this channel is going to keep going, guys. You have to really, uh, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, come back and watch some more stuff. Yeah, and if you are European and you're watching this or you're American and you're watching this, uh, just tag all of your Canadian friends and tell them, guys, come on, watch this too. Yeah, uh, You want to hear your own uh, accent speaking about disc golf sometimes. Close damn beast. That cl- close damn be- Anyway. <laughs> um, that's kind of our first in the schnarb segment. We're going to try and see how this goes and, uh, summarize tournaments. This was a long one. Uh, it was a long tournament. Um, and anytime you put it together for four rounds over two days, you deserve to be a winner. So Julian, yep. any last thoughts? Uh, big shout out to our camera crew and the okay. editors. Uh, they put in a tons of work on this. And so please, um, just enjoy this video. If there's any way that you could get notified about, uh, watching any other videos in the future, perhaps yeah. by enjoying or, you know, loving, loving something, uh, committing to a membership of some sort, committing to a membership just by clicking on a button. That would be, that would be absolutely if there crazy. There was only a way. Uh, and we'd like to thank all our sponsors as well up here. Um, so yeah, Discraft, Innova, MVP, everybody, Discmania. If I didn't say it, you guys know you sponsored us. So thanks very much. And, uh, check us out for the next tournament, Julian. And we are now out of the schnarb. See you later. See you later.